Our family has been developing and manufacturing car care chemicals since 1976. We've developed products for the racing industry, motorcycles, boat and hydroplanes, and of course stock car racing. Our products have been used in heavy industry for over 30 years and have been sold in more than 100 countries around the world. Now we bring you our revolutionary patent pending Coal Plus AC treatment. It helps your refrigeration and AC systems in several ways. First, it cleans throughout the system with surfactants and detergents. This is so very important because ASHRAE, that is the Society of Heating, Refrigeration and Air Conditioning Engineers, they say that up to 7% of efficiency in the AC system is lost in the first year alone because of oil fouling. Just as plaque can build up in our arteries, oil fouling builds up in any AC system. Coal Plus AC treatment removes that oil fouling. The second way Coal Plus helps the AC system, it speeds up the thermodynamics of the AC process. In the AC unit, the liquid in your system turns from a liquid to a gas and repeats this cycle over and over again. The AC treatment contains two different dimensions of polymer particles. The first particle is much smaller and made of PTFE, that is polytetrafluoroethylene. It has been called the slickest solid substance on demand. It has a negative charge and is drawn to the positive charge of the friction surfaces and tubing treating these services in your AC system. And it's treated with the slickest substance known to man, that is PTFE. The second polymer is much larger than the smaller PTFE particles, but are still smaller than the human eye can see. These larger particles continually move around in the liquid, acting as a nuclei, a center, that greatly enhance the heat transfer through pool boiling. In the AC treatment, the carrier oil, the cleaning package, and the bonding agents are soluble only in lubricants. But the two polymers and their carriers are soluble not only in oil, but also in water. They are also almost perfectly clear like water, so we can see the demonstration. Remember, both sets of particles, the smaller PTFE and the larger polymer, are too small for the human eye to see. But we can see the results from them in the demonstration because of the clarity. Watch. Now we put one liter of distilled water in a new boil pot on a cold burner, then turn on high. Then we see how long before bubbles form. This is called pool boiling. This is the beginning of the liquid phase changing to a gas phase, just like in your AC unit. Notice the bubbles begin to form at about five minutes. Now we see how long before it comes to a complete boil. We see approximately 10 minutes. Now we remove from the burner and we time the cool down before the boiling stops. Now we time how long before the bubbles are completely gone. At about 30 minutes they are really, really tiny and by 33, 34 minutes they are completely gone. Now we put one liter of distilled water in the second boil pot, but this time we add the two polymers and stir. We again place on a cold burner, turn on high the larger particles moving around the water as it heats up. In your AC system, these particles would be more active because of the flow of the AC system. Now we time the pool boiling again. The bubbles begin to form at about four minutes. See it starts about 20% faster and the actual boil time is also speeded up as we can see, about 20% faster, seven and a half minutes. The reason, the larger particles are increasing the heat transfer. Now again, we remove from the burner and we time the cool down. Now we see how long before the bubbles are completely gone. Amazingly, we go through four hours, five hours, and even after six hours, there's bubbles still on the bottom of the pot. The reason the bubbles remain for so long is because we've greatly reduced the surface tension. How slick is it now? Watch. We place a utensil on the bottom of the pot and slide along very slowly. It is so slick, like wet ice on wet ice. Almost all the bubbles don't burst or release. They just slide along on the incredibly slick surface. Now that's amazing. Number one, shake the container until all components are in complete suspension. 
Number two, make sure the compressor is running. Number three, install the pump into the container. Number four, install the hose on the pump and bleed out air from the hose. Number five, connect the hose to the suction port. Number six, pump in the required amount of AC treatment. Number seven, follow the directions on the back of the label for the amount of treatment to be applied to the chiller or AC unit. If there is product remaining in the container, flush out air with dry nitrogen if at all possible. The installation is now complete. To review, we believe that AC treatment is revolutionary because number one, not only does it remove oil fouling, but number two, it prevents almost completely the return of oil fouling because it is so slick and also chemically inert. It doesn't react with other chemicals. And number three, the larger particles are flowing with the liquid through the AC cycles, increasing the efficiency of the heat transfer. In other words, speeding up the thermodynamics of the AC process. The Cold Plus family would like to humbly thank you for taking a look at Cold Plus. For all of us at Cold Plus, I'm Laura Willis.